any practicing follower of Jesus who is looking to bring harm to anyone because of this is not a true follower of Jesus. What if he had kids? What if he had five kids and he was a sole provider? Is it okay then? Oh my gosh, so there it is. bro. There, there it is. is. They showed their hand. They showed their hand. And they're on the side of don't come out. I'm trying to figure out the logical conclusion of what they're suggesting. Come out and divorce? Come out. Like, what are you going? What are you getting at? Bruce Lawn. Some of you guys asked us to react to this Jubilee video. All right. Uh -huh. And I have not seen the video, so I'm going in low key blind. I heard Abba and Preach reacted to it, so we might throw up some of their reaction. I got to give you guys a heads up. Had your kids, had your wife. Explicit, explicit, explicit. It's probably going to be explicit. Now, also, I got to give you guys a heads up and say, I'm probably going to say something here that offends you. Oh. Especially if you struggle with same sex attraction. Oh, I don't like doing these videos. I, dude. We got to. We got to that. So here's what the video is called. Should I come out to my wife? This is intense. I love my wife, but I'm gay. Should I come out now? Yes or no? What do you guys think? Pause we it. We brought together. Pause it. What do you guys think? Should he come out? He's married. He loves his wife. Should he come? Now, there's another plot thickens here. Because there's a faith component to this. Okay? Yeah. What do you think, Zach? Um, yeah. I think I think you should. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. That means two different things. Exactly. Depending on what you're saying. Exactly. Because someone who is a follower of Jesus may say, I, I struggle with same-sex attraction. Yes. He's not saying that. Okay, he's not saying that. He's saying, come out, and we know what come out means. Okay. I'm embracing... And we're getting this a, part of my life, and you should affirm it. And you're getting that's a where this is going. Wow. Play All right. Let's keep going. To strangers to help an anonymous person make one of their toughest decisions. My wife is the most important person in my life, and I would never want to do anything to hurt her. But I'm also gay, so I'm not sure. So he pauses. So he's not. This is not a struggle. This is not a. I'm wrestling. This is my identity. My sexuality is my identity. Mm. It's not an extension of my entity. No, it is. I am this. Yeah. So, yeah. So I wouldn't agree. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... But you, you should be transparent, you should be about, transparent. Your, about your struggles. Pre preferably before you get married. After hearing the group's advice, which choice will this person make? This is the dilemma. Okay. How can you be? So, how can you be in this situation? Be married. Be having intercourse. Someone somewhere had to have intercourse. How are you putting your thing in the opposite parts and saying you are gay? Yeah. This is a perversion. This is the definition of a perversion. You are practicing a heterosexual lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So at the least, you would be pansexual or bi. Yeah. He's he's practicing, but he hasn't mastered it yet. <laughs> Play the video. Because he still thinks he's gay. Okay. So it said, should he come out? And everyone walks to the yes. <laughs> Everyone's in the How tiniest. long into the relationship did you realize you were gay? I knew before uh, I got married. That's whack. How did you meet your partner? We grew up in the same community together. We started off as friends, then best friends, and it grew from there. Is your partner supportive of everything you do? In our viewpoints on religion, yes. In terms of supporting the LGBT community, no. So religion is a big cornerstone of your guys' relationship? We both grew up in the same religious community, so we both grew up with the same values and the same social guidelines, so yes. Do you think your wife knows you're gay? No, she doesn't. What does it mean? Pause it. This isn't that uncommon, by the way. Yeah. This stuff happens. Yeah. I would not know. That's crazy, though. Yeah, this stuff happens. This this stuff happens to pastors. I do know uh, a friend of a friend, for sure. That's nuts. Yeah. The first sit-down interview right here, they ask this guy a question, um, and then Abba, preach, Abba and Preach have a rebuttal to this guy's answer. What's the yes side? Uh, I you're gay. No, she doesn't. What was the main reason as to why you went to the yes side? Uh, I have a few family members in the LGBTQ plus community. I know all their experiences coming out have been positive. Um, no, 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 no,
I don't know what kind of ukulele using community you come from. <laughs> okay, because Benji sounds like somebody who plays a ukulele. Same with the mustache. I don't know who he is, okay? Big tall dude with mustaches love ukuleles. Um, but no, I know plenty of people who've come out and have absolutely horrible experiences, though maybe afterwards it was freeing to that degree. Some have lost their families. Other folks have been excommunicated. Like, listen, if you come from a hyper-religious background where they take that stuff seriously, some folks even die. So, oh, oh yeah. Whoa. You got to pick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not, not in... Not in th this no, 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 religious no, no, context. No, 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 no. There's, a, there's another community that that might happen, but. Which community? Oh, are you talking about other other faiths? We don't really rock with those people, though. Y okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, other other faiths. Other faiths. I, I mean, I can't even see that. I can't see any branch of Christianity ter ter deleting somebody because of Oh, this. no, definitely not. Well, I don't care what no, part yeah, of the yeah. world. No, no, yeah, not not real Christianity. Cultural back in the early sure. 1900s sure. type of thing, like KKs sure. around. Yes. That's wild. Okay. Keep playing. What did it, what's that say? And it ain't an easy oh, choice. Hey, that's so just, yeah. we say you should come out, not because it's easy, but because it's still the right ethical thing to do because you're married to somebody. But you have to understand how difficult it can be for some people. So Absolutely. Just, hey, wait a minute. Wait Absolutely. A minute. Well, 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 I've got people in my family and everything was positive. That's your privilege, Babu. Yeah. Here if you don't know people that it was not, hey, I know people that were... Name in the journal mm. drop from their family. You understand Whoa. what I'm saying? Bruh. <laughs> so it seems like it seems like there's a um like the Jubilee people are like, it's just such a beautiful thing to come mm -hmm. out and just do the thing. And they're like not really fully understanding mm -hmm. how difficult of a situation this is. Some this is why definitions matter. Yeah. What is what do, what was that what does that actually mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what does that actually mean? But and, 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 and I will stand on this. Any practicing follower of Jesus who is looking to bring harm to anyone because of this is not a true follower of Jesus. You're off. And anyone that claims to be is lying. Are the people in the chat saying that? They... Someone, someone, somewhere, a Christian somewhere, somewhere. But you, lie. You're a liar. You're a liar. No, that is not that is not how Christians move. That is not how we no. No, no, no. You don't bring physical harm uh to someone because of this. Absolutely not. I don't care what the Old Testament says. Absolutely not. Okay? That doesn't mean what Jubilee is probably going to where Jubilee is probably going to take this video. Okay? That's not that doesn't mean that though. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Let's let's, let's watch the rest. Yeah, of yeah. It. Don't worry. Some someone will still be offended. <laughs> it's about time. It's, it's starting to boil over, and he needs to come out. What was your reasoning for marrying a woman, even though you knew you were gay? I thought that if I got married, that it would change me, and that I could become straight. What are your intentions in life, and how do you want to feel about your life? I want to be truthful, but I also don't want to hurt the people surrounding me. I'm a very honest person. I don't lie. He must be truthful. But he's literally on a he show. He knows he's there's cognitive dissonance. He's he's being oh, okay. dishonest. Okay, okay. <laughs> he's being dishonest. He said, I but, the, but he the, knows the, bro. The, the universal statement of I don't lie. No, no, no. I was like, wait, what? Here's the thing. He knows yeah. that he had no business entering this relationship Thanks. without telling her that this was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. However, you feel about this as a lifestyle, as a, as an orientation, he knows. That he's out of pocket for this. Mm -hmm. That's this is not on her. This is not on oh, yeah. culture. This is not on society. This is not on a patriarchy. This is not on white supremacy. This is not on America. Because this he is not on yeah. homophobia. He knew he was out of pocket. You he knew what sir, she was about to need to have the courage yeah. to own this stuff. Basically living a lie right now it gives me a lot of anxiety and depression. But I know if I came out suddenly, it would devastate her. The thing is, I'm bisexual and. I would have never said anything if I ended up falling in love with a man and I didn't want to hide anymore. Being your authentic self is my principle. Aha! There it is! There it is! Stop it! We worship at the altar of being your authentic self. Of authenticity. Forget who you hurt. Mm -hmm. Forget if there's children involved. Forget if your family falls apart. Forget if you don't get to be in your kid's life or, or no, you need to go pursue the boo-boo that you saw at the gym that gave you the eyes and because you got to be your authentic self. That's what this is. This is the God of authenticity and this yeah. is the God of sexuality. That's what these folks are worshiping at. Yeah, that's a trip. Forget suppressing who you are yeah. for the sake of your marriage. 
for the sake, because that's how the scriptures call love, to yep. love sacrificially, for the sake of your marriage, for the sake of your kids, for the sake of following Jesus. Forget all that. No, 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 you got to be your authentic self. Yeah, and so you think, like, obviously he had no business marrying her, but now that he made that commitment. Rock out, son. Yeah, like, that's on you. That's on you, bud. You got children, especially if you got children? Mm. Nah, fam. Miss me with the, I need to live. No, 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 no. That, no. That, that's goofy. Miss me with that. No, 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 no. You made your bed. Yeah, no, 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 no. So is there an expected fallout that extends beyond just the relationship of you and your wife? Like, is it more than just your guys' relationship that's at stake? What kind of question is that? What do you mean? Well, I don't think they know much about him yet. I think it's literally just, should I come out to my wife? Watch, just watch. So I could potentially lose my job. I would most likely lose my family, uh, my friends, my wife. I would lose everything, basically. I would have nothing and no support. Are we the uh, only people who know uh, about this? I've never told anyone. Just based on this information now, you guys can switch to the other side if you want. Mom, my man. He was explaining what's at stake if he comes out immediately. Because of that, the more I thought about that, the more I was like, you know what? He's gonna be losing literally everything because of this. So I feel like he needs to have some sort of plan in motion first. You gave him a, my man. Oh, but yeah. then he just said, he needs an exit plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, la I'm just glad somebody <laughs> Someone was pulled away from the least. group thing. <sighs> Keep playing. The reason I said no, I'm, I'm bisexual. Same as you, it took me a cool minute to kind of come to terms with that. So it's like, I look more at like, am I safe? If you do, gone. You could lose a lot of things that you've built up on this foundation. Have you at all considered reaching out to therapy or some sort of counseling to help you through this process? In the community that's, I live in, that's a good it's question. a little bit hard to find counseling. I live in a more rural area, so the majority of counselors are based through the church. Can you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with God? And has there been moments where you've personally experienced him guide you. This is good. You know, I would say, you know, faith has been a deciding factor in all things that I do in my life and that I don't you know, follow God blindly. Like I've felt him work in my life before. So for me, it's a real relationship that I have and it's the most important relationship I have. You know, God goes before everything else. For the sake of not sounding super insensitive, and you guys help me out, folks who have struggled with same-sex attract uh, attraction here, just, just, yeah. just go here with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're functioning in a heterosexual marriage, okay. To me, that says you're probably pan or bi. Yeah, I don't know what pan means, but it's the same thing. Okay, cool. You just you're attracted to <laughs> anything. Anything. Okay, cool. If you are already in a marriage, clearly you've gotten this far. Mm -hmm. So my question would be. Is it unreasonable for someone who is bi to continue on <laughs> in a committed heterosexual marriage because you already gave that pledge? Well, to be fair, I think that is the, I think that is the easiest, like, like same-sex attraction position to be in. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's that. I don't think he's bi. Because hmm. they in the previous questions they were asking. They were saying, uh, did you know before? And he's like, yes, I thought it would change me. Hmm. So he married in hoping that it would like, that like, oh, he was just tripping, but he got to okay. okay. try it. Okay, okay. Let's back up for a second. Okay. Let's, rever let's reverse the roles. Okay. He's heterosexual, but he marries a man. What? <laughs> Come on, bro, bro, oh, bro. The good point. Bro, bro miss me with that. Miss me with orientation <laughs> is fluid until a man wants to leave his wife for a man. Miss me with that, fam. So you're that makes zero sense. Wait, so you're saying flip it, flip it around, flip it, flip around. it around. He's married to a man, but there's no benefit. And he want, and he sees a woman. My mouth just dried. Up. And he sees a woman. Yes. Would we not say, bruh, you're bi? Clearly, you like men. You've yeah. done some freaky stuff with men. Sir, you are not one thing. You're confused is what you yeah. are. I because I, I right? think Right, because we're looking at it from the majority culture, which is actually, I think, true. harmful to this discussion. 
It is harmful to because we're looking at it through a paradigm. He's suppressed and da 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 da. da. Clearly, you was able to jump into some vagina yeah. enough to also to, to, date to, long to, enough to, to date long enough and not know. Yeah. Clearly, you was functioning. So you, clearly, you, so if any man <laughs> was with another man, we wouldn't be saying he's heterosexual. There's no rational way we would be saying that. We would be saying, bro, you're bi. You like men. Stop it. You're lying. You like men. You've let men. That's you've hilarious. done stuff with men. <laughs> you've done and stuff you've with enjoyed men. It's it like, it's to like, the point where you married one. It's like, bro, you might be heterosexual. It's like, nah, son. You did not get that far. You ain't get that far. You ain't, you ain't live with a man for four years. If a man goes to jail and does some stuff with other men, <gasps> what are we going to say? Bro, you're gay. Yeah, you're gay. You don't... Come on, bro. So, so you're saying... Because one side of the argument is, well, it's such a big thing to be gay in the Christian community and be and be in that like small town vibe that you can. I, you think, can I think this is made up. Some of this, in my opinion, is the 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 forbidden fruit that he can't have that's amplified in his head and 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 culture impacting him. Wow, that's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I'm not saying he's not struggling with same sex attraction. Yeah, I'm saying the language he's using is again stating that this is his absolute identity. Yes, and if this was reversed, we would not be we would not be saying this about a man who was married to a man that all of a sudden was interested into women. We would okay. say you're bi or you're pan. Got it. So your your overall point is for a man to marry a dude, the roles are reversed. Mm -hmm. It's le and it might be quote unquote heterosexual. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be like this. Oh man, I I hope I can make myself gay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the, you're missing the faith aspect. So mm -hmm. I'm saying, is there a possibility that he is gay and he took it that far to getting married and all that stuff because of the this um his culture, his tribe, mm -hmm. the how important that is to that culture and to that mm -hmm. tribe. That's a lot of suppression. Yeah, because because I know, and I, I'm just saying, I I don't know. You, I, I'm just saying. I feel like, bro, most... I like, I like my wife, and I'm attracted to women. I'm not. I don't care what social environment I, like I am. That I'm suppressing it to the point where to to marry a man. Yeah, yeah but that's I'm... a next. That's another level, bro. It is. I don't think it's impossible that someone takes it that far. Although I would say to your point, most Christians that struggle with same sex attraction attraction mm -hmm. end up just single for a long time, and people are like, "Oh, you should get like, what's wrong with this girl? Why mm -hmm. don't you date this girl?" Mm -hmm. And they're like. Oh, you know, she's not my type. Like it, it is, it definitely is a little bit more extreme to to go all the way and be like, I found a woman, mm -hmm. I dated her, I mm -hmm. convinced her, I married her. Mm -hmm. We've been married for years. Mm -hmm. I'm serve at a church. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Saying that, hey man, if you're married with two kids, getting vagina, you might as well stay married if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, bro. And I and I'm saying agree. if the roles were reversed, yeah, you at the very least you would not you would say he's bi and he's not gay. You oh. would not, at the very least, you would say he's heter, he's he's bi, and he's not yeah. heterosexual. At the very least, and so it's a double standard. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it, it definitely, I yes, you would say that he's bi, but going back to your point about staying married, mm -hmm. absolutely. So the question is, he still claims that his religious, that his religious view and his relationship with God mm -hmm. takes the cake for everything. Mm -hmm. So it really gets me wondering: Does he actually want to come out like in the in the uh, cultural sense, or mm -hmm. is he just saying, should I, he is definitely implying, right? Mm -hmm. L living, living the lifestyle, but it's hard because if he's saying that his relationship with God is first and foremost over everything, mm -hmm. beyond whether or not he figured out some sort of off theology of where that makes sense, mm -hmm. he still made a commitment before God to be married to this woman, regardless of whether he found a Bible verse translated in a specific way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Faith is just a huge factor for, for my truth. To me, that's what I resonated the most. So I wanted to be that representation of like, hey, if you just go in with blind faith, it could still work out. If you show who you really are to somebody, to anybody, they're gonna show you who they are, like 100% of the time. And if you're surrounding yourself with people who are kind of not in support of the person that you really are, then that's not a healthy situation to be in. Bro, your wife is not gonna be in support of you being gay. It's just how that works out. You fathered her children. She literally is the person she committed to, one, living life with, but also having a release with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of course she's not gonna be stoked that you didn't enjoy any of it.
It's just not a healthy situation. I I just don't believe he'd enjoy any of it. But, but Bro, anyway. uh, no, no, I agree. I agree. What I'm saying is, is that that's what comes with the idea of like, did you fake everything? Mm-hmm. But this is like, like everyone expects uh, a Bruce and Caitlyn Jenner situation where they just stayed married and they're like, I support you. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? That's not happening. It's totally okay for someone to be upset about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is totally okay. If it you share, okay. if you share your viewpoint, then then and they don't like it, then you need to cut that person out of your life. It's like, well, they are your life. Yeah. Like, how, you are their yeah, life. And somebody pointed out, rightfully so, how can your wife support that? Yeah, exactly. And I think he should 100% come out, like, today. I'm bisexual. It took me a cool minute. One of my, I'm not going to name names, I'll say a family member, told my parents. It gave me a lot of anxiety. It was like, am I going to get kicked out? I'm going to stay here. Are they upset with me? It was very much like, okay, whatever. I don't want to talk to you right now. And it's like, I know coming out, like, everyone's like, do it, do it. It's great. You'll feel better. But for me, coming out, was, it made me feel worse. Hmm. So I'm like, I live my truth, but it didn't make me feel the way I wanted to feel. I believe. Everything is about your truth and Yo, feelings, that's gotta bro. Be, that's got to be a bar, though. The language is so revealing. I live my truth, but it, it didn't actually make me feel any better. Wow. That's really what she said. Yeah. That everybody should live their truth. You're not emotionally responsible for anybody. You don't owe anybody your life. You be you, and they'll figure out how to be them. I think it's different. Like you're saying, you're not responsible for other people's feelings. But it is, I know the guilt that I would feel as like a husband to be hiding something from my wife is like horrible. Yeah, because like, let's also not forget that they are married. They have vows. Yeah. And part of <laughs> those vows of is to, to tell the truth. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you're taking away another person's ability to live in reality. And that's wrong. I do want to point out that I'm not necessarily saying that he should wait like years to come out. I'm just saying oh, maybe no, take just like a couple months. <laughs> like I would say go to counseling, go to therapy, figure out who you are um, and who you are even without the church and without your wife and without all that stuff. Once you figure all that out, then you can start going through that process of how am I going to come out? Yeah, but I think he should, I think the focus should be more like him just finding himself, you know, like all that planning, you know, like where's he going to go and all that stuff. Yeah, that, those are tough questions, but it doesn't have to be answered right now because yeah, I think maybe you should go to therapy and figure out. And like he's saying things that I still don't even agree with. Like figure out who are you, who, who you are without God is yeah. like, come on, son. Yeah. But he's like, I think you should go to therapy, create a plan. And she's like, yeah, but you should just f- be you authentically. And it's like, okay, you're not being I'm, helpful. I'm trying to figure out the logical conclusion of what they're suggesting: come out and divorce. Come out. Like, what are you going? What are you getting at? Yeah. Right? Does does this person's truth supersede the covenant that he made with this woman? See, and that's the, what the guy in the green long sleeve with right. the backwards hat was kind of getting right. at. He's like, they did. I wonder what they cut out there. That is interesting. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know what they cut out there. But all I'm saying is, your preferences should follow your convictions. <laughs> Make it a shirt. You know, it takes baby steps. What is it? Wait, wait. Oh, okay, he flopped. There we go. He changed his mind. Coming out is not ripping off a band-aid. It comes with so much anxiety. It comes with so much um, fallbacks, depending on who you are, where your community is aligned, you know what I mean? And it shouldn't just be ripped off, because even ripping off band-aids hurt. You know what I mean? It's not a painless process just because it's quick. And people really need to understand that. Was there anything in the discussion that caught your attention in some way? I think when they were mentioning we didn't come out, like right now, that person will show their true colors to me. That, that resonated with me because that is true. The other issue that was brought up was the point of counseling and kind of preparing myself. I feel like that could be beneficial. So the biggest concern My is community. his safety. It's his safety. Was his wife going to put his hands, put her hands come on, on him? Sign. Come on. So one thing we talked about was not necessarily needing a plan because your dilemma isn't coming out to the world right now, but it's coming out to your wife, like your partner. And just Yo, what if he came out at the end of this uh, on the show? He takes his plot off. twist, <laughs> babe. Like <laughs> babe, this is who I am. So we brought I'm in his wife. Truth. Yeah, <laughs> grew up in the church with you, and you grew up in the church, and so your wife possesses those fruits of the spirit that are like patience and kindness. And okay. I think those attributes, like those you said, it sounds like are in her, and so she would be loving and kind and patient with you. One of the things I want to just encourage you on is that you've been in a vulnerable position before, where you had to put your whole trust. Hey, man, eventually the fruits of the Spirit got to meet humanity. I don't think the human and, and your wife is going to be like, I'm patient, kind, and loving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, fruits of the Spirit for sure, but just because she's Christian doesn't mean, doesn't mean like, she's not going to be upset. They're totally oh, yeah, minimizing yeah, yeah. how that reaction is going to be. For sure. In God, and he came through. So I just encourage you to sometimes be okay with taking just the first step forward and everything else you could figure out along the way. So I, I first want to be clear that yes, you should come out, but you should definitely wait and give it a little bit more time because we're worried about your safety, number one. The other thing too is that you need resources and you need time to get those resources. Like I said, like these divorce processes <gasps> and everything, they don't take a week. And oh my gosh, so there it is. bro. There, there it is. is. They showed their hand. 
the show their hand. And they're on the side of don't come out yet. Bro, yeah. They the, showed the, their hand, bro. The don't come outside was like, so just we just want you to get a good divorce lawyer. Oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, but come on. Were we sitting here really thinking that they were gonna be like, you should come out to your wife but stay married, of course. I don't I, I really don't think why that's not a reasonable play here. No, no. It, no it, one asked if he had kids. No one asked how long he's been married. They, they, you're, go, you're going to throw away your your connection with this person, even yeah. if you identify with that orientation. It's the ultimate selfish decision, in my opinion. Oh, it totally is. No, and he definitely should stay. But I'm saying we're watching Jubilee, yeah. who had a bunch of Christians sit down, and we find out, like, they're kind of Christian. You know what I'm sure. saying? Like, sure. so, so Jubilee isn't really going to be having... I get it. It would be really interesting to have this with Christ, Christians. Oh, yeah. If it was Christians all giving the advice. Yep, play, play the video. And it's all about your community, right? Personally, me and my family is super religious, so I very much understand where you're coming from about investing so much time in your community and the sense of loss that comes with it. But you have to understand that you'll be fine, your relationship with God will be fine, but this is a very tough decision that Whoa. is more than that. What part of... No, I'm, not, I'm done. Have you made a decision in your mind right now? Uh, yeah, I think I have. Oh, this is so like theatrical. <laughs> yeah. They're like having him pick a side so we know what he ends up being. So over the top. <gasps> a few weeks yeah, later. So I'm getting home. You know, I told my wife <gasps> that I wanted to do counseling. And we've been meeting Whoa. with a wonderful counselor, and she has just been able to give us a lot of tools to work with. Um, and make me straight. meet one-on-one, -on -one, so I get a chance to be very open with her about how I feel. Um, so I think within the next few months, definitely, uh, I'll be ready to fully come out and just prepare myself and my wife for that. I feel like the weight's been lifted a bit. You know, I still have a journey to go through, and it's going to be hard either way, but... I feel cool. We get it. It should be a decision that's made with the help of a counselor. I think that it's only fair to my wife that when I come out, I do it in a way that's not only safe for me, but safe for her and to make sure that I have the resources I need in case something does go wrong. <laughs> All right, we get it. Uh, play the very end to see if there's like an update at the very end of the frame. Just yeah. like the last little wall, bit. Like, nope. Okay, know, cool. No so, um, wow, what an interesting video. Um, I, I really feel for the dude. Like that's that's a tough, 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 tough situation to be yeah. in. I couldn't imagine uh, dealing with something like that. I couldn't imagine being in his shoes. Uh, I think the fact that they're in their mind, what's the logical conclusion? Get divorced and go pursue men. Yeah, but there's no way you can get to that conclusion without first being absolutely about your truth and your feelings and your preferences first. Yeah, he said, hey, Ruslan, what advice would you have for him if you were in Jubilee? So here's a couple things I would say. Brother, you're not the first person to be in a relationship where maybe you aren't physically attracted to the person. Right? That's a bar. You're not the first one. Because that's, yeah, wow, that's really interesting. I, I'm not saying, I'm saying even people who are... In a, in a good marriage, and maybe the person gained some weight. Yeah. Maybe they had a baby. Maybe mm -hmm. yada, 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 yada. Um, you're not the first person to be in a marriage and want to be in a marriage with somebody else. Wow. Or be in a relationship with somebody yeah. else. There's guys that want to be- You didn't invent be, cheating. Yeah, you didn't invent <laughs> cheating. You didn't invent these feelings. There's guys that want to be with other guys. There's guys that want to be with other women. There's guys that may want multiple wives. There's guys that may want an open relationship. Like, there's all these different variables mm -hmm. that our sinful heart can easily get people to. Yeah. The question is, what is the virtuous, godly thing to do? And it as if you're going to say you're a follower of Jesus, like, you are to lay down your life the way Christ laid down his life for the church. Yeah. So that means if you want to be with a boy, if you want to be with a boy and a girl, if you want to be with five girls and two boys, if you want to be whatever you want to be, yeah. you are to lay down your life the way Christ laid down his life for the church. As a as a husband, that is what you're called to. Sacrificial love. Yeah. 
That's so, mic drop. So my advice would would be that, like, bro, these, which are, yes, maybe it's unique in that it's homosexual, homosexual attraction, yeah. and 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 you and and you're not the first guy to be same sex attracted who remained in a heterosexual marriage. Yeah, and I think I think uh, compartmental and compartmentalizing it down to that as generic as you're not the first person to not be attracted to their wife. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is is like I think that's a helpful response. If if this person is like really about their their faith and really about God and really about the vows that they made mm-hmm. initially, because then you're like, okay, well, there's there's ways, you know, there's yes. ways to figure it out. If you say your conviction is you love your wife, love is an action. It's not just a physical attraction. Love is I'm going to sacrificially lay down my life, my rights for you. Again, uh, Jackie Hill Perry is someone who is same sex. Uh, was in same sex relationships and now she is in a heterosexual marriage and I believe she still deals with some degree of same sex attraction. She's not the only one. There's multiple folks that have written books about this and all that kind of stuff. So it's not that un- uncommon. It's not as uncommon as this is being made out to seem. And I don't think it's unreasonable to say lay down your life for your wife. It's it's the counter narrative to what this society teaches, which is your truth you, 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 your sexuality is your identity. You are your own God. You are your own happiness and your own authenticity is the most important thing. Uh, yeah, that's that's the mantra and that's the religion of the day. But that doesn't mean you have to follow that. That doesn't mean you have to you have to submit yourself to that. And so, you know, and yes, get therapy and 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 be honest that this is something you've dealt with. I do think your wife is at least entitled to know that. You know what I mean? I do think your wife is entitled to all that. And then I would hit it from 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 every from every side. You know what I mean? I would hit it from every side. I would I would get therapy. I would go to church. I would I would get in the accountability group. Yada yada yada. And so you just got to choose like is my happiness the priority or is the covenant I made with my God and my wife the priority? It's a it's a, it's rather a simple question. But I think I think divorce in this situation is completely out of the question. I think he needs to work through it and I think he's heterosexually functioning in a marriage and I'm assuming is being intimate with her, which means that he's probably bi and you can functionally figure out a way to make that work, in my opinion. So anyway, what do you guys think? I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this thing? Am I am I am I being too harsh? Am I being too rigid? You know, do you think it's cool to just leave your wife because of your preferences and how you feel? Leave your family, okay? Well, if you think it's okay to divorce his wife, what if he had kids? What if he had five kids and he was a sole provider? Is it okay then? Uh, from a season of life where your little children are always within arm's reach, you're always there at night, you're always there when they wake up to now you're going to go pursue a man? Where do you draw the line with some of this stuff and say, you know what, sometimes you just got to die to yourself. We, and, and, and yes, again, as a heterosexual man who's in a sexually fulfilling marriage, my cross is not the same as his cross. My cross, I, I don't, I don't deal with this. I understand it's different. I'm not saying that. If even if you affirm this, right? And that's a whole other thing. We get into like assuming that to love someone, you have to affirm everything about them. That's nonsense to me. But let's just say you affirm this. At what point do you draw the line? Is it when there's a one kid involved? Is it when there's five kids involved? Is it when there's, if he, is it when he's a sole provider? Like, what point do you, what point do you go? No, bro. Like, you made a covenant. You, 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 you're in your kid's life, or do you just kind of? ignore the real reality of what divorce is going to do to this man's mental, financial, spiritual health and the impact that it could potentially have on if he had kids. Again, I'm not presuming he has kids, but if he had kids, those of you guys that are like, yay, 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 you should live your truth. What do you draw a line and go, no, you shouldn't live your truth. Your kids are more important. Your, your wife is more important. Your word is more important. You know, I, I want to hear from you guys. That's a good point. Yeah. What if you just are attracted to your next door neighbor? Some new girl moved in the neighborhood, right? What if it wasn't uh, orientation? What if it was some bad broad moved into the neighborhood and they're flirting and was he supposed to live his truth then? Ah, you would go to that conclusion? Should he throw away his marriage then? Hmm? Hmm. Right? That's the slippery slope of this whole live your truth, be your authentic self nonsense. You know? This naturally attractive stuff only applies to the certain lifestyle. I feel like most guys are naturally attracted to multiple women, but that doesn't change their wife has to uh, affirm cheating. So, and it said that Simeon blessed God. God.